Tapper Digital Communications Conference 2018 starting right now. Hey guys, good afternoon. My name is Jason. I'm KC5HWB. This is the Ham Radio 2.0 YouTube channel. If this is your first time here with us, please click on the subscribe button down below so that you can keep up with all of the videos that we do, all of the postings that we make, and all the different uh, new and amateur radio episodes that we post. So today, this will be the first Tapper conference video. It's just an introduction video by Steve Bible, uh, who is the chairman, manager, CEO of the Tapper Digital Communications Conference. And he, uh, he's the guy in charge, I should say. And he uh, just gives us a little 15 minute intro, talk about Tapper, talk about where it's at, what happens here. And uh, this is just a quick video. And then after that, we've got probably about 15 or 16 separate digital communications conference talks that I recorded all over the course of the weekend in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 2018. Special thanks to Steve, to Scotty, and to uh, all the other guys at, at who Put on the Tapper conference. Special thanks to the presenters for allowing me to record this. I had a lot of fun and I plan to go back next year. So here it is, the Tapper conference 2018 introduction. Good morning. Wow, everybody's enthusiastic. Thank you very much. I hope everybody's got a piping hot cup of coffee. Welcome to New Mexico and thank you for attending the 37th annual Digital Communications Conference. So we have a really good show for you. I want to first of all give some thank yous and recognition. Is Bill in the audience? Is, is he here? Bill, would you mind coming up and say hello to everyone? And, and uh, this will allow everyone to be able to meet Bill Mater, K-A-T-E. He is the section manager for New Mexico. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Can you hear me okay? Oh, yes. I usually operate CW, so. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, but welcome to Albuquerque and welcome to New Mexico, the land of enchantment. I think you'll find there's a lot of things to do besides this excellent conference here. And if you haven't heard yet, I hope you'll manage to stay for another week because the Duke City Ham Fest and Rocky Mountain Division Convention are coming up next weekend. And as a member of that board, we're really pleased to know that we've sold all the meals, we've sold all the rooms and the RV parking spaces. We have lots of vendors coming, it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you have nothing to do, stay for the week. There's a lot to do here in New see and do here in New Mexico. Uh, this is new to me. This is my first Tapper conference, and my association with digital is using APRS a lot. That's a big deal. Uh, and I saw we're going to have a presentation I've seen already in uh, the New Mexico Tech Fest about FT8 and how it works. I gave a number of presentations this year talking about the incredible climb of FT8 taking over the world of HF. It's just amazing. Just amazing. At the end of December, remember FT8 came out in July last year, at the end of December in Club Log, it made up 55 percent of all DX contacts uploaded. So for all the old farts you know, none of you guys, ah, oh, digital, uh, FT8, uh, you know, you, we hear that a lot. This is the reality of the world today. For being here, thank you for taking advantage of the opportunity, and thanks to TAPAR for putting on a, a great conference. And, and thank you very much, Bill. And I'm going to go back one slide, or two slides. And Bill, this is the ARRL slash TAPAR Digital Communications Conference. So, Thank you very much. ARRL is very instrumental in the partnership that goes together to bring this conference to you all here. And so we can't thank the ARRL enough. Sure, we come here and put the show together and run it for you, but it's definitely teamwork. I'd like to also recognize and thank the Rocky Mountain 
uh, ham radio group, Brian was the one that approached me at Hamvention and said, can we bring the digital communications conference to Albuquerque? Now, since I'm from Phoenix and I enjoy tacos and enchiladas, it was a big rounding yes. Didn't get very much of a laugh out of that. I'm going to have to work on my jokes on that. Brian, unfortunately, is not able to be with us, so he's uh, called away on other things. So I wanted to bas basically recognize the, the gentle people that are part of the Rocky Mountain Ham Radio Group. But I do know that um, Rick is here. Rick, could you come up and chat about the club real quick? Uh, well, first of all, I know it's been said before, but I wanted to just welcome you all to Albuquerque, New Mexico. We're so excited to have you here. Um, been looking over the, the proceedings and just really excited about all the talks. So Rocky Mountain Ham Radio is a little bit different than some of the other ham organizations. It's really technology focused. Um, I think in that sense, it's, it's actually a lot like Tapper. And so, you know, it's, it's really interesting I, to, to look at, I think, kind of how, how this organization led the way and, and, and hopefully in some small part Rocky Mountain Ham Radio is, is following um, in, in that, in um, the, the sense that we don't really uh, get together and operate or um, kind of have a traditional organization like you think of. There's other ham groups in New Mexico that have, have weekly or monthly meetings and um, do, do great work. We really focus on technology and we try to find areas where there's a gap in existing uh, capability in the amateur community and then uh, through our actions try to support other organizations that are, that are in the community here. And so an example of that is we have uh, built out a multi-state microwave network, kind of a uh, communication backbone and that provides um, connectivity to you know remote radio sites for other organizations to put their equipment up and provide state of health or other interesting uh, interesting things. Um, but I think that's enough about Rocky Mountain Ham Radio. Again, I just wanted to say thank you, uh, thank you all for uh, for coming here to New Mexico, and um, very excited to have you. And thank you, Rick. Okay, moving right along. What's the most important thing next? What do you think? You're, you guys are killing me, man. Food, are you? That's like third, you know? Because this is first. So um, I'm sorry, it's not the SSID. So I made a mistake with this slide. The SSID is Sheraton underscore meeting you're going to be served up a web page, a capture page, and then you want to be able to type in Tapper 1. Now, I say it's uppercase. Others have found out the lowercase works as well. But Tapper with the number one. All right, that's the first most. Second most important question? Bathrooms. <laughs> you got that one right. So here's the lay of the land. We are basically making up what's in the Anasazi ballroom. We're in these two... Um, the Chaco and the Bandelier. So if you go right outside where the registration was, take to the right, there's actually two sets of bathrooms that are over there. Okay. Um, for those of you that drove and are not staying at the hotel, you found that you had to go through the gate in order to park. This is your escape code. So for you to get out, please use the number 3626 and then hit the hash key. Okay, and you all probably have a schedule along with the printed proceedings. The printed proceedings are provided courtesy of the ARRL. And so our schedule is basically you are here. This is the main session room. And as the main session room, we'll be in here all day Friday, all day Saturday, and half day Sunday for the Sunday seminar. The demo room is if you go out the door and turn left, it's actually this area of the ballroom that's um, walled off over here. We have 12 uh, tables around the perimeter of the room. Each table has a chair and has a power strip. So please bring your demos, set them up, and put them up for show and tell. And we put time later on in the schedule for us all to take a break and, and have some play time in the demo room. Highly encourage people to bring their projects and show them off. Um, Friday lunch. Okay, so this is the third most important is what's for lunch. Our lunch room is actually going to be down the room. Now, this is for those of you that had purchased the lunch. 
And of course, for those that haven't, we do have tickets available if you would like to purchase the, the lunch that we have. I have the menu here in just a moment. Of course, the hotel has their restaurant as well, and perhaps I've not scoured the area around here. So we'll break for lunch right at noon, and then we'll get back in the, to the talks promptly at 1 o'clock. So for Friday lunch, here's the menu. So I'll just give you a chance to glance over it. As you can see, it's a very southwestern New Mexico type of, of meal. Okay? And I'm afraid that, you know, after pinto beans, we're going to have to turn on the fans in here. Tonight, the Friday social, everyone is welcome to the social. Bring your friends. If you have any local friends here, invite them in. If you brought spouses, significant others, nieces, nephews, whatever, please bring them. Now, the plan is to go to the green area that's beside the pool. So the hotel tells me you can go out the entrance and then walk over. They also said that they were going to open up the pool gate, so there's actually a walkway right by the bar, and then you walk down a ramp, and then there'll probably be a gate over there. So look for signs to point you over to here. So we're going to have a barbecue. Okay, and here's the menu. Hope you like barbecue brisket, pork ribs, okay? I'm curious here what the chef's going to choose for dessert. Now we do have a cash bar. You pay for the alcohol, but we pay for the soft drinks, okay? Now Saturday lunch could be in the same place. This is the uh, menu. Again, we have tickets for Saturday lunch if you like. If this appeals to you. Then we have the intro session on Saturday is in this location. Then we have our Saturday night banquet. This is the menu for that. Now I'm going to show these again tomorrow, so I'm going to go a little fast. Again, a cash bar for the dinner. Now we're very fortunate to have a distinguished guest. He probably doesn't think he's extinguished, but distinguished. Stand up, Phil, so everybody can say hello. <laughs> so thank you very much for traveling all the way from the East Coast and giving us a fantastic talk. And I'm sure he'll be working on it late until the afternoon tomorrow in order to present it. <laughs> yeah, we are, we're all in the same boat there. So thank you very much, Phil. So we're looking forward to that. And um, Nathaniel, you want to stand up and say hello? So this is Nathaniel. He's for our Sunday seminar. And we're really excited because you're going to start to see a bit of a theme if you come to the DCC and you're trying to find out, okay, what's the new, what's the up, up and coming, what's the exciting, and the answer is Hamsai. Okay? So you're going to hear a lot about that this weekend, and we can't thank these two gentlemen enough for bringing that excitement to ham radio. All right. I'd also like to recognize Jason. Jason, you want to come on up here? So in DCC's past, we've had Gary Pierce doing the video recording. Gary's retired, and he suggested Jason uh, to be our videographer. So I want to introduce Jason. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> so, you guys from the East Coast are here to avoid the hurricane. I know better. So, uh, yeah, my, uh, my video series is on YouTube. I've had it for about three years now, and I'm very excited to be here to record all the, all the conferences today. I'll start posting them next week and put them up there as a playlist so that you can go in there and see everything. I have an email sign-up list on the back table if you want to keep up with what I'm doing. But, um, yeah, very excited to be here, and thank you for having me. Okay, so Jason, let's give him a round of applause. Now Jason uh, ran a successful Kickstarter. He asked for $2,100 and he got $2,475 from 66-0 pledges. So it led, it tells us that the DCC is valuable. There's a lot of folks out there willing to contribute to pledge so that they can watch the videos 
on YouTube, and now these talks go to a much larger audience than just here. So one of the things I'd like for you to do is tell your friends about the YouTube videos, and there's several hundred that are up there now, and, let, and encourage them to come here and be present as well. So thank you very much for those of you that are supporting Jason and the ability to get these talks around the world. So for those of you that are speakers, you are going to be on video. One of the things that's interesting about statistically about YouTube is the first two minutes are very important. So you want to be able to introduce your talk and grab the imagination of your potential viewer in that first two minutes. After you get them captured, they'll sit there and watch you for the rest of it. Also want to uh, suggest supporting Tapper, not only with your dues, your donations, your participation, but we also up on Amazon Smile. And as everybody shops at Amazon these days, nobody's laughing at that, okay. Um, I mean, it's amazing, you buy, you know, ham radio on, on, on Amazon, who'd have thought? It's a great world we live in, it's so easy. Anyway, so if you're interested, you can go to the Tapper website, go to Donate, and you'll see this link. You can click on it and sign up, or the link's here at the bottom of the slides. Future DCCs. So we're also very fortunate, as I mentioned, uh, we were asked to bring the DCC to Albuquerque. We've also been asked to bring the DCC to Detroit, so we're working on that next. And then we've been asked to bring it to Charlotte. So is Roland in the audience? So Roland, stand up. So say hi to Roland. So he's the one that approached us <laughs> and asked to bring it to Charlotte. And we think it's an outstanding idea. So he's here to, to uh, participate and observe and help us bring the DCC to Charlotte. So you can put this on your vacation calendar. First time in. First time in Charlotte. Oh, it's his first DC. I wasn't going to say that, Scotty. Thank you. Okay. Oh, I, and finally, 2021 is the 40th anniversary of, of Tapper, so naturally we're going to go back to Tucson. So we know where the next three DCCs are going to be. So if you want to start competing for 2022, let us know. <laughs> That's quite a ways away. Okay. Um, we also participate at Hamvention. If you would like to be at the Tapper booth or you'd like to give a forum talk at Hamvention, let us know. All right, so before we get on to questions, if you notice on the talks, both Friday and Saturday, right after lunch, are lightning talks. And we have Tom McDermott to thank. Last year at St. Louis, we had a speaker cancel on us at the last minute, and Tom suggested let's use that period of time to do lightning talks, and it turned out really well. So what is a lightning talk? It is a five minute talk, okay? Five minutes, that's it. Three slides, that's it. So, and the hook comes out and you get yanked off of stage, okay? So if you would like to participate in the lightning talks, you have a pad of paper on the table. They also supplied a pen. So put on the piece of paper, the title of your talk, your name, and your call sign. And maybe put a little bit of a small abstract of what you're talking about. Give it to me, okay? I will pick from that list and fill the available space, which is 45 minutes. I think we can get five or six talks in because there's a little bit of swapping around, okay? But you get five minutes, five minutes only, no more. Okay, you can take less, but no more than five minutes. If I have more talks than can fit in today, we'll roll them over to Saturday. Okay, does that work, Tom? Okay, I, all right, so we're excited. It worked real well. It's your opportunity to get up and give an impressive talk in five minutes. Um, I've already mentioned the lunch tickets. If you're interested, see John Coster outside. And I think I've pretty much overdid my welcome. Any other questions and we'll get started with the first talk. This has been Ham Radio 2.0, a YouTube production by KC5HWB. 
Visit our website at www.livefromthehamshack.tv. Please also stop by our Facebook page at fb.me slash hamradio2. Be sure and subscribe here on YouTube to keep up with all the new videos that are posted nearly every Monday. 73s everyone and thanks for watching.